limitations of DC track circuits. Audio frequency based track circuits came into existence due to interference of harmonics generated by thyristor controlled locomotives on DC track circuits and requirement of double rail track circuit to carry higher traction return current of higher capacity locomotives. Dependence of P wave for insertion of insulation joint or glued joint over straight portion of track. In electrified areas, DC track circuits are affected by induced voltages in electrified areas and required modifications for immunizing them against induced voltages and only one rail is available for traction return current. No diagnostic feature in DC track circuits. Audio frequency track circuits are those track circuits which use audio frequency modulated signal and whose extremities are defined electrically by the use of tuned circuits. Use of audio frequency enables the physical limits of an individual track circuit to be defined by tuned circuits rather than the insulations at either ends. As on date 21-9-2010, Specification of AFTC is RDSO oblique SPN oblique 146 oblique 2001. With development of fail-safe technologies, electronics and microcontrollers have found acceptance in the area of railway signaling. Audio frequency based train detection system that achieves Detection of train on the track is known as AFTC, Audio Frequency Track Circuit. Audio frequency range is from 20 Hz to 20 kHz, wavelength of 10,000 km to 100 km. Audio frequency range is used for these track circuits with digitally converted and modulated audio signals. These signals are Information-rich, non-stationary signals. Higher levels of noise immunity with quality of reproduction over a period of time. Flexibility in analyzing and extracting information from audio signals. To minimize interference of various harmonics generated by electric locomotives. Career signal. It is a signal whose characteristic frequency or amplitude or phase gets changed by another. Modulating signal. It is the signal according to which the variation in frequency or amplitude or phase of carrier signal is made. Usually the frequency of the latter is less than that of the former. Modulation. It is the process in which the frequency or amplitude or phase of carrier signal is varied as per the instantaneous value of modulating signal. Demodulation It is the recovery of the original modulating signal from the modulated career signal. It is the reverse of modulation. Modulation and demodulation is adopted for these track circuits to minimize or eliminate the unwanted interference by harmonics in electrified areas. These harmonics are caused by electric locomotives, motor coaches with chopper and three-phase propulsion. RLC circuit or LCR circuit is an electrical circuit consisting of a resistor, an inductor and a capacitor connected in series or in parallel. Important application is for tuning. RLC circuit can be used as a band pass filter or a band stop filter. The tuning application for instance is an example of band pass filtering. An important property of this circuit is its ability to resonate at a specific frequency. Any change in RLC value 
may shift the resonance frequency. Resonance. The resonance frequency is defined as the frequency at which the impedance of the circuit is at a minimum. Equivalently, it can be defined as the frequency at which the impedance is purely resistive. This occurs because the impedance reactance of the inductor and capacitor at resonance are equal but of opposite sign thus cancelling each other. By proper tuning, it is possible to separate two adjacent track circuit without any insulation joints. Audio frequency track circuits are preferred over DC track circuits due to it is jointless. Adoptability in RE and non-RE areas both rails are available for traction return current in RE area. Different makes of AFTCs in use in Indian Railway are Siemens, Alstom, UM71, US and S, ABB TI21. In India, first AFTC was introduced on Tambaram Beach section of Southern Railway for replacing 83 and one third hertz AC track circuits in early 90s. AFTC can be utilized for straight shorter track, block clearance proving track circuit, straight longer track birthing portion. Point zone track, scissor crossing track, diamond crossing track, automatic section, IBH sections. Main requirement of any track detection system is that it must be fail safe. System should be able to cut off output of track detection relay whenever unsafe condition is detected inside the system. To ensure safety and reliability in audio frequency track circuit, modulation and coding with two out of two logic is employed. Audio frequency track circuit system consist of following modules power supply transmitter surge arrestor for the protection against lightning tuning unit track connections receiver track detection relay impedance bond Frequency modulation, FM. Frequency modulation is the varying of the frequency of the carrier wave according to the instantaneous value of the modulating voltage. A fundamental characteristic of an FM signal is that the frequency deviation is proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal and independent of the modulating frequency. Delta F is directly proportional to voltage of modulated signal. AFTC working is based on modulation in frequency shift keying FSK or minimum shift keying MSK. FSK is similar to standard FM except the modulating signal is a binary signal that varies between two discrete voltage levels rather than a continuously changing analog waveform. Two different carrier frequencies are used and they are switched on and off by the binary signals. One on, zero off. The one is called the mark frequency and the zero 
is called the space frequency. Application of FSK FSK signaling schemes are used mainly for low-speed digital data transmissions. Advantages of FSK Gain control manually. Generation is relatively easy. Constant amplitude property for the carrier signal does not waste power and produces some immunity to noise. Minimum shift keying or advanced frequency shift keying. Minimum shift keying, MSK, is a special type of continuous phase frequency shift keying. Unique factor of MSK is that the frequency difference between the logical 1 and logical 0 states is always equal to half the data rate. This can be expressed in terms of the modulation index and it is always equal to 0.5. A modulation index of 0.5 corresponds to the minimum frequency spacing that allows two FSK signals to be coherently orthogonal and the name minimum shift keying implies the minimum frequency separation that is bandwidth that allows orthogonal detection. Features of minimum shift keying MSK or advanced frequency shift keying avoids sudden change separate into even and odd bits. The duration of each bit is doubled. Each bit is held for two bit interval. A higher frequency is chosen if even and odd bits are equal. Transmitter working. Transmitter is a unit which supplies the signal to the track via a tuning unit. Transmitter consists of oscillator, frequency generator, modulator, amplifier and filter. When power supply unit feeds DC supply to oscillator, the oscillator generates basic carrier frequency. The output of oscillator card is modulated in the modulator by feeding carrier frequency and digital data signal to FSK or MSK modulator. FSK or MSK modulator generates output of higher frequencies and lower frequencies with reference to digital data signal. Thus, modulator signal is bit coded and carries digital message selected through dip switches or jumper selection in transmitter card. Then modulated signal is amplified and filtered. After filtering, the signals are fed to the primary of an isolation transformer in the tuning unit via transmission cables. In tuning unit, the signals are again filtered and then feed to the track. Receiver working. Receiver is a unit which receives the signals from the track via tuning unit and transmission cable. Receiver consists of filter, amplifier, demodulator, comparator, arrangement to evaluate the amplitude of the received signal and output for track detection relay. Receiver receives the correct track signal via tuning unit and recognizes it in quality modulation or bit pattern and in quantity level and operates the relay as required. In receiver received signals amplitude is evaluated, frequency is checked and data coding is also checked. A relay is picked up by receiver only when it measures sufficiently high amplitude of signal above threshold level voltage, frequency is within the range and bit pattern data coding is correct. Tuning of track. Adjacent audio frequency track circuits are isolated through tuning of both tracks to different carrier frequencies. 
separation of adjacent two track circuits is achieved by tuning. Each joint consists of steel wire rope connecting the two rails in S shape. S bond forms two semi loops of which one end is connected to rail and other end to center tap connection. Inductivity of the steel rope of the each semi loop forms part of tuning circuit. The farthest end semi loop and transmitter receiver connected to this farther semi loop are tuned to same frequency. The transmitter feeds the signal into the center point of the S bond and into the nearest point of the corresponding rail. The transmitter acts upon the resonated resistance of the resonated circuit which is of high resistance compared to the direct feeding to the track. The other half of S bond is tuned to the operating frequency of the neighboring section. In brief, the tuning unit of frequency F1 offers high impedance to its own track circuit frequency F1 and low impedance to the adjacent track circuit frequency F3. Similarly, tuning unit of frequency F3 offers high impedance to its own track circuit frequency F3 and low impedance to the adjacent track circuit frequency F1. Due to the layout of the semi loops in the S bond, an axle standing on the S bond occupies both the rear track circuit as well as the track circuit in advance. There is no detection gap. Coded AFTC modulating signal is a digital bit coded with a digital message. Main advantage of this coded track circuit is it immune to interference of frequency of other track circuits makes of coded AFTC. Siemens AFTC, Alstom AFTC. Non-coded AFTC modulating signal is not coded. Mix of non-coded AFTC, ABB AFTC, UM71 AFTC. Configurations of AFTCs are as below. End fed, center fed, point and crossing. End fed. At one end transmitter is provided and at other end receiver is provided. center fed transmitter is provided at the center of track circuit. Receivers are provided at each end of the track circuit. Point and crossing at one end transmitter is provided and the receivers are provided at concerned ends of point zone track circuit. Centralized or Remote Feed AFTC. In this arrangement, transmitter, receiver, power supplies to transmitter and receiver, relay are kept centrally in AFTC room. Locally Feed AFTC. In this arrangement, transmitter, receiver, power supplies to transmitter and receiver, relay are kept in the track side location boxes. The railways signal engineers have to prepare frequency plan 
and installation plans jointly with original equipment manufacturer OEM for allocation of frequency to adjacent track circuit same frequency or very next frequency should not be allocated there should be at least one frequency separation this planning is called frequency allocation plan In railway electrified area, balancing of traction return current in tuned zone. If the two rails are at a potential difference to each other, an unbalanced current will flow through the tuning unit, thereby damaging it. To avoid this damage, path for traction return current is given through bonds connected to rails so that unbalancing is controlled. For this purpose bonds are used. S bonds, alpha bonds, shunt bonds are used in Siemens and Alstom AFTC. Z bond is used in TI21 ABB AFTC. The O bond is used in UM71 AFTC. During installation of audio frequency track circuit, the instructions given for that type of track circuit in OEM manual shall be followed strictly. Care should be taken for falling points during installation. A frequency assignment plan for the track circuits in complete yard shall be decided in advance jointly with OEM and it shall be strictly followed. Railway shall ensure proper training to staff that is going to install and maintain. Railway shall ensure issue of technical and installation manuals from OEM and also shall ensure that manuals must contain all details of all configurations, installation requirements, adjustments, specified values, precautions etc. for AC railway electrified area, DC traction non-railway electrified area. As mentioned in Indian Railways Permanent Way Manual in Para 279, Sub Para 7 of Chapter 2, Part H. All requirements shall be fulfilled before installation. These requirements are as follows. Ensure provision of liners and rubber pads under both rails. Ensure proper drainage to avoid water logging in the track during rainy season. As mentioned in Indian Railways Permanent Way Manual in Para 279 Subpara 8 of Chapter 2 Part H. Ensure the clearance of foot of rail and ballast is minimum 50 mm. Tuning zone must not contain the followings. Level crossing, catch point, Expansion joint, TPWS or AWS track equipment, impedance bonds, old bypassed insulated rail joints, structured bond and cross bond. As AFTC is inherently a double rail track circuit, it is recommended that bonding practice in AC railway electrified area should be adopted as per provisions of ACTM, AC Traction Manual, for double rail track circuit. ACTM Volume 2, Part 2, Para 3.8 and Para 5 
of Appendix 2 code for bonding and earthing for 25 kV AC 50 Hz single phase traction system. If single rail configuration is proposed or planned, railway shall ensure that interconnection of OHE mast to rail has been assessed in its design and validated before installation. Take necessary precautions as recommended by Original Equipment Manufacturer OEM. Reference Railway Boards Letter Number 92 Oblique Signal Oblique SGF Oblique 5 Point Dated 22.11.5 Bonding Practice at LC Gate Structure Bonding for Passenger Safety Though the induced voltages of traction frequency between rail and earth would not affect the functionality of AFTCs but it is customary to keep this voltage level to be less than 50 volt AC. For this various solutions suggested by OEM are as given running a separate earth conductor. Separate earth wires of suitable cross section are being run throughout the section and connected to the neutral center of the AC impedance bonds spaced at every 1 to 1.5 km distance. Note, if separate return conductor is originally provided but missing due to theft or any other reason, it may cause serious electrical shock to those who come in contact with track circuited rails. Structures of OHE connected to one rail uniformly. In this case, the broken rail detection for the fraction rail on which the structure bonds are connected is not assured. The reduction in track circuit length is to be analyzed. Permitting one structure bonding per track circuit. In such arrangement, only one OHE structure is allowed to be connected to either of the rail uniformly. Bonding practice in AC traction area at the junction of AFTC and conventional track circuit. Bonding practice in AC traction area at the junction of two different make AFTCs. For the installation of insulation joint at the junction of AFTC and conventional track circuit, follow the rules given in SEM 2 para 17.13. Design and installation of tuning unit should take in account the requirements of mechanized track maintenance. TUs and ETUs shall be mounted at a minimum distance of 2 meters away from the near rail as it gives good safety margin to staff. Special precautions shall be taken to ensure the tightness of connection of rail and tuning unit. Ensure the lightning protection is in working condition. All indoor equipments shall be placed on standard rack for ease installation and maintenance. Quad cable installation. Ensure transmitter conductor and receiver conductor of same track circuits are not run in one cable. Ensure receivers of different track circuits having same frequency are not run in one cable. Transmitters of different track circuits having same frequency are not run in one cable. For communication in between transmitter and tuning unit of transmitting end, for communication in between receiving end, tuning unit and receiver quad cable of 0.9 mm diameter is used. In new installation, 1.4 mm diameter quad cable is also used. Maximum feeding, 3.5 km. Number of conductors, single pair conductor, 1 km for TX and RX, double pair conductor, 
above 1 km for Tx and Rx. Testing of cable. Minimum insulation resistance between each pair at CT rack should be more than 10 mega ohm per kilometer. Loop resistance of each pair shall be maximum resistance of 56 ohm per kilometer at 20 degrees Celsius. Safety tests must be done as per OEM manual instructions. Directionality test for S bonds. Interference test. TSR test and proper track circuit adjustment should invariably be ensured and recorded before commissioning. OEM Original Equipment Manufacturer should inspect AFTC installation and certify its efficacy before its commissioning. For installation, refer SEM2, Chapter 17, Para 17.19.7, Installation and Maintenance. Failed safety is dependent on setting of power of transmitter, high mode or low mode and correct setting gain of transmitter and receiver level. In each make, it is achieved in different way and it is discussed in concerned topics. Working of AFTC is affected by following. Unbalancing of traction return current. This interference is avoided by provision of correct dimension bonds. Harmonics of motor coaches with chopper and thyristor controlled locomotives. This interference is avoided by modulating the transmitting signals in frequency shift keying or minimum shift keying. Frequency of other track circuit. This interference is avoided by allocating different frequency with different code bits according to frequency allocation plan. Failed safety requirements. Transmitter shall generate, modulate and bit code audio frequency signal according to predefined coding system. Reverse polarity and short circuit protection shall be provided in the transmitter units. Receiver shall be sensitive to signals from its associated transmitter only and from no other source. Design of AFTC system shall include provisions to reduce signal from other transmitters of same frequency, modulation and bit pattern connected to same or adjacent track to sufficiently low level so as not to result in any unsafe situation. Extraneous currents or traction return currents in rails shall not result in false indication and actuation. AFTC shall have pickup time delay of minimum 1.8 seconds and drop away time shall not be more than 75 milliseconds measured at relay contacts. Reverse polarity and short circuit protection shall be provided in the receiver units. AC impedance bond shall be capable of supporting a current of 400 ampere continuously, 200 ampere in each rail with a peak loading of 1000 ampere for a period up to 5 minutes without suffering damage or overheating. All modules shall be protected against electromagnetic interference. Design of AFTC in 25 kilovolt AC electrified area should permit interconnection of one AFTC rail to all OHE mast which are generally erected at every 70 to 80 meter interval. Fail safety requirements as per specification RDSO oblique SPN oblique 144 oblique 2004 with latest amendments. The geographical resolution between adjacent audio frequency track circuits shall not have any dead zone. Safety integrity level is one of four possible discrete levels for specifying the safety integrity requirements of the safety functions to be allocated to the safety related systems. SIL4 has the highest level of safety integrity. SIL1 has the lowest. 
a safety management system based on EN50126 uses a hazard lock to manage the safety. The standards EN50128 and EN50129 contain such design measures for hardware and software that should be used to fulfill a certain SIL.